Hi, it's Barbara and welcome back to Wikidesign. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create tiered shipping in WooCommerce. What I mean by tiered shipping is the amount of shipping that the customer pays will be dependent on how much they ordered. So for example, if their order was $50, their shipping cost might be $10. If the order was $100, it might be $20. So I want to show you how to create that in WooCommerce. This is something that we recently had to do for one of our clients. This is our client, Bread and Beck's Bakery. They are a very popular bakery in Philadelphia. And over the holidays, they wanted to offer mail order. So you could order from their website and get it shipped to them. And they wanted tiered shipping because the amount of the order would obviously determine how much it would cost in shipping, but they didn't want to use any one specific shipping provider such as UPS or the postal service. They wanted to be able to ship wherever, honestly, it was quicker because of the holiday season. So we created a tiered shipping system for them. And I think this is a really effective way to simplify your shipping if you are starting an e-commerce store and you don't want to rely on the different shipping services to give you rates, this is a good way to do it. But in WooCommerce, you do have to add some plugins and configure some settings in order to do that. So that's what we did for Bread and Beck's Bakery, and I'm going to show you how to do it today. So you can see my sample store here, and this is what we're going to use for this demo. I have a bunch of different sample products in here. You can actually get these from WooCommerce if you're looking to test things out. It's a good way to get familiarized with WooCommerce. Now, in order to get this to work, we do need to install a plugin. This is a free plugin that creates the shipping tiers. It's called table rate shipping method for WooCommerce. So if you search that in the plugin uh, repository, it should come up and you can install that onto your site. This is what we'll be using moving forward. This is a really great plugin and does exactly what we need it to do. So once you get that installed, you want to go to your WooCommerce settings and then click on the shipping tab. The first thing that you'll need to do if you haven't already is add a shipping zone. So I'm going to click that right here. And you can call the zone name really whatever you want. I'm just going to call it flat rate. And then you can select the regions within this zone. So I'm just going to put United States for this, but whatever is appropriate for your store is what you would put there. Now down here, we need to add a shipping method. So we'll click that. And when you install the plugin, you get this additional option for flexible shipping. So normally we just have flat rate, free and local pickup. With the plugin installed, you'll have that flexible shipping option. So we're going to click that and then we'll hit add shipping method. Now we need to go in and edit this. So we're gonna hover over that and edit it. So we have a bunch of different parameters in here, but what we want to worry about is when we scroll down here where it says shipping cost calculation rules, because this is where we're going to put in our shipping tiers. So under conditions, we'll select a drop down for price. You can also do this by weight as well, but for this example, we're going to do it by price. And then it will give you the option to say is from and then to. So for this first one, I'm going to put is from $0 and then I'm going to stop it at $25. And then here we'll need to put the amount that we want to charge for shipping. So I'm going to put $10 in here. And obviously these can be whatever you want. And then we can add another rule and do the same thing, select price. And then from here, we can say $25 and one cent. And then I'll make this $50 max. And then for that cost, I'm going to put $20. And you can see kind of how this works. So I'm just gonna do one more. And then for this, I'm going to put from $50 and one cent to $100. And for that, I'll put $30 as the shipping cost. 
Now the last rule that we're going to want to add is what happens if it is $100 and over. So I'm going to add another rule. And again, we'll select price. And then we'll just put is $100. And then we're just going to leave the max blank. And for that, I will put $40. Then we'll hit save changes. Now let's add some products to our store to make sure that this is working correctly. I'll just add this hoodie to my cart and then I'm going to hit view cart. So you can see here that we have the hoodie with a zipper, $45, and then the flexible shipping is $20. So that is falling right within the range it's supposed to. Now if I add another one, you can see now it's $90 total, so the flexible shipping is $30. Let me add one more and hit update cart. And you can see that the flexible shipping is $40 because the order is over $100. So this is working exactly as it should. So that's all for today's tutorial. I hope that you found this useful if you run an online store and you were wondering how to do tiered shipping. This is something that I see a lot of stores doing online, so I think it will be very useful for any small business owner that wants a simpler shipping option. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.